Former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser learns his punishment Wednesday after he abused more than 150 female athletes. Nasser pled guilty to 10 counts of sexual assault. Tonight, we're hearing reaction from a local counselor and parents. Our Cam Jandro joins us now live with those details. Cam? Yeah, Anna, for the last week, impact statements were being read, and today, a judge told Nasser she was signing his death warrant. Tonight, I caught up with a local counselor to get reaction, and she specializes in those impacted by sexual abuse. Larry Nasser addresses his victims moments before being sentenced to 40 to 175 years behind bars. Nasser was found guilty after more than 150 women said he sexually abused them. My confidence was shattered and my self-worth was crushed. What I'd hoped was a legitimate medical procedure was in fact a sexual assault. Here in central Massachusetts, Pathways for Change provides services for those impacted by sexual assault. Director of Counseling Heidi Sue LaBeouf says the organization was satisfied with Wednesday's sentencing. We're grateful to see that and we're grateful to see um, so many people being able to have a voice and be able to speak their truth, um, especially after so many years of being silenced. Nasser was a sports physician for USA Gymnastics in Michigan State University and was already serving a 60-year sentence for child pornography. LaBeouf, who has been a counselor for over 20 years, says outcomes like Wednesdays help raise awareness about sexual violence. It's refreshing actually seeing a case get settled. And I like to see the judge really being able to hold um, somebody accountable and, and, and get the breadth and the width of, of how detrimental sexual violence is. Parents in the area with children in gymnastics say it's important to educate their kids about healthy boundaries between athletes and adults. I also, even when my daughter goes to see the doctor, I'm in the room with them. I do tell her that she owns her own body and not to allow anyone to touch her. You know, my daughter's been involved in gymnastics for years, and one of our sort of uh, rules was we never, ever let her alone with any trainer, any coach, period. Now, initially, 88 victims were expected to speak, but throughout the course of the sentencing, the number nearly doubled. Nasser, now 54 years old, will spend the rest of his life in prison. Anna. Thanks, Kim.